Hello, we're back. This is Posh by Laura Wade, and I think it has a really, really good chance of being my monologue piece. We're reading pages 99 to 101, and it is about the Bullingdon Club, which is a bunch of posh people in Oxford, and because they're spoiled rich brats, they think they can do anything and proceed. This is when they're smashing up the pub. If you've not seen the film, watch it. And if you haven't seen the play, um, good luck, because you can't. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, the accent's a bit dodgy, but I'm working on it, so this is just an initial reading, and I hope it is, it is, it's good. Okay. Snide remarks with one hand, but he's still taking the money with the other, isn't he? Still taking the fucking money. Yeah, but he keeps the moral high ground, because God forbid he gives that up. What about not take the money if he feels so fucking strongly? What about take the money and shut the fuck up? I mean, who the fuck does he does he think he's some kind of lord because he's got a gastro pub? What, thin beef and gay puddings for people who think because they're eating orange fist it must be spoked salmon? Calling us gentlemen as if he had any idea, any idea of what the word means. Checking we do want that many bottles because it seems quite a lot for ten people. Graciously letting us stay if we don't smoke or call a prosa or make any noise. What is this? The fucking quiet carriage? I mean, just because he's got farrow and ball on the... What colour is that? Kidney? He reckons it gives him the right to sneer at us because he's what? Honest, decent, hard-working. He thinks he's earned it. He also thinks rugby league's the sport. I mean, this man keeps fucking cheese in the fridge, for God's sake. While you're under my roof, you respect my rules. I've got a new rule for you, mate. It's called survival of the fittest. It's called fuck you with the riots club. Respect that. Can't have one rule for them and another rule for you. Why not? Seriously, why the fuck not? We're the fucking riot club and we've hardly started, mate. And her, stuck up bitch, fucking skank. You're a prostitute, love. Get on your knees. Not doing that. It's not in my job description. I'm a professional. Ring my line manager. I'll wring your fucking neck in if you're not careful. What? You're too good for us. We've got the finest sperm in the country in this room. She should be paying us to let her drink it. The bourgeois outrage whenever we do anything, say anything, lurking around every corner, trying to smoke us out. Anything we ever build or achieve, anything with the slightest whiff of magnificence, who the fuck are these people? How did they get everywhere? How do they make everything so fucking second rate? Thinking they're cultured because they read a big newspaper or eat asparagus and pretend not to be racist. Bursting a vein at the thought there's another floor above their lift that doesn't go up to. For all their striving, honest, decent people hell-bent on turning this country to fuck. You're not allowed to do that. You can't have that. That's not fair. You know what's not fair? We have to even listen to them, thinking, because there's more of them, they're better when they're worth their weight in shit. They're not, that's not sweat on their palms. It's envy. It's resentment. And it stinks like a fucking drain. I mean, I am sick. T I am sick to death of fucking poor people. I really like this play. <laughs> I think it's got legs and I think I should explore it further.